someone wrote in and said, I've been listening to some of your fabulous podcasts today on polyamory. And it sent me thinking about what my personal situation is and where does swinging become polyamory? Um, I expected it that it would be when there was an emotional connection. However, I could argue there's connection in every encounter. I have some partners that gotten very close over the years and my partner definitely knows about it. Do I say I'm non-monogamous? I'm swinger? I'm poly? How do I define myself? I am here with the fabulous podcaster himself, Reed Mahalko. I don't have a podcast. You were on a podcast. Oh, yes, yes. <clears throat> I'm a fabulous podcast you do guest. Pod- you podcast do. guest, Reed Mahalko here from ReadAboutSex.com. <laughs> and I'm sitting next to Kathy Vertuli of the IntimacyDojo.com. Yes. Um, so I think it's a great question. I think it's kind of a gray area. Mm. Like, Swinger, to me, is I don't really know your name. Maybe your first name. Let's have sex. To you. That's me. Yeah. I said to me. Yeah, I'm just re- reinforcing that. Okay, because they think him... you're in a position of authority, and that they might think that what you're saying is is the gospel for everything, the gospel of Kathy Vartuli. I... You speak for all of your people. But I said it was a gray area. Okay. Polly Amory to me means that I have a heart connection with someone. There's a little more love. Um, and I think even that has shades. I have people that I consider playmates where we're. We can definitely talk about deeper things, but I don't have to help them move and I don't have to care if they're, um, you don't have to like dive in and save anything. And I have lovers, which is a little more invested. And then if you're a romantic partnership, then maybe you're supposed to show up and help them move. We know Kathy's feelings about helping people move. I'm all for like hiring. You just hire somebody. Yeah. Two just hire somebody. Track. Some dude comes up with a van and he has a t-shirt that says, my name's Kathy. <laughs> so Kathy? Come on. I've moved a lot of times. Mm-hmm. Moved 12 times by the time I graduated high school. I'm kind of over it. But anyway. Um, how do you... I'm so trying to figure out how to weave moving into some uh, brilliant analogy of poly and swinging. <laughs> Polyamory is when you help the same person move several times. Swinging is when you help them move once. Done. Hit subscribe. Boom. <laughs> That's kind of, that works. Yeah. That kind of works. I, I th- it, well, if you're using move as sexual versus an emotional investment. You're moving back and forth mm-hmm. for the, anyone mm-hmm. who's listening to the, to the audio. He's rocking back and forth mm-hmm. um, in a very suggestive manner. Um, for me, I think, like again, for my personal definition, I think it's a depth of caring. Polyamory means many loves, I guess, including Greek and Roman. You guess? You don't know this? How many videos have you shot about talking about polyamory? It's big on Kathy Day. Yes, apparently. Um, uh, but to me, a lot of people get to define themselves. Like, I define myself as queer, mm-hmm. which asks me more. Like, I don't define myself by heteronormative rules. Um, so I think we get to choose the, the, the nomenclature that works for us. That kind of fits according to you know what other people language is yeah. to help other people understand. So I, I'll just pick another analogy for those of you who've been watching lots of videos of ours that I'm in the analogy dork. Um, so if I'm remembering my terms correctly, an estuary is where salt water and fresh water meet. So when does it become ocean and when does it become river? Mm. Like that's really the question around this right like so there might be a sciencey way of measuring it well when it's you know 18 percent something then it it is not it is no longer ocean but it is river or whatever the the ways of defining it um but those definitions have to be agreed on by that community and ultimately for me it's you know how much what am i trying to do with the freaking river or the ocean Right? Is the ocean happy? Is the river happy? You know, do I like to just hang out in the estuary? Am I, am I a freshwater shark? Who knows? What this all means, to build on what you've already said, is, well, what do you need it to be? Are you just nerding out? Um, are you are trying you- to communicate and manage uh, expectations to figure out what's a good fit for you? Um, you know, when, when does blue become light blue? Yeah. Like, like now we're just having a nerdy conversation. I always c- c- try to f- figure out um, because anything, any identifier is really just shorthand or an access point to talk more about stuff. 
polyamory, generally speaking, because it is a, a dirty word, dirty being, it's Greek and Latin mixed together, and no one should stand for that, but it is an unholy alliance. Um, it's a bad word, but it means many loves. So traditionally speaking, uh, s swinging, the way it used to be talked about and kind of practiced was we can have sex with other people in whatever, you know, different ways, right? There's soft swap and full swap and all these other terms because things have lingo. Um, but generally speaking, you're not allowed to fall in love with each other because falling in love makes things more complicated. Mm -hmm. And swingers, air quotes, were just more into things not being complicated. Um, polyamory, you're allowed to fall in love. Mm -hmm. And if things get complicated, we kind of signed on for that. Doesn't mean it's smooth sailing or delicious. Well, and there's different boundaries too. If some couples are like, we can only be in a partnership look together. We have to both approve each other. Or you can have as many partners as you want, and it's fine. All kinds of things. But generally speaking, when does one become the other? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's up to you, right? That's up to me. Do we want to nerd out on it? And is that nerding out erotic? Are you hitting on me? <laughs> like, are we being sapiosexuals and just getting turned on by intellectual conversation and discussion? Mm -hmm. Um... Does a couple who is monogamous, who, you know, hired a sex worker for someone's 40th birthday to have a blowjob and a threesome, like, are they all of a sudden not monogamous? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, what we is, can debate these things, but it, I'm more interested in, are you having fun? Do things feel healthy? Mm -hmm. um, from a date your species perspective, have you found your species? And are things working well for you? So where we move the the swinger poly conversation is more just kind of fun to geek out and get more clear about what works for you. Yeah, and since words are used for communication, um, it might be in different communities. There's different like someone might go, oh no, that's that's definitely poly, or like you can um, sometimes I will use language that fits that community because it's easier to communicate. Mm -hmm. But also I get to choose. Do I say I'm bisexual or queer or pansexual? It's like what what Code does switching in a certain way? Yeah, like part of it is like how is it going to communicate well with this com community? Like they're going to understand what I'm trying to communicate, mm -hmm. and what also feels right to me. Bisexual doesn't feel right to me anymore because I don't use sex as binary. So, but I will still use it in some communities where if I said queer or pansexual, they'd be like, if you know, mm -hmm. it's a quicker way to move forward. Yeah. Um, I had another thought and it disappeared for a second. Um, great questions, by the way. Please yeah. keep sending them in. Yeah. Uh, hit subscribe, like the videos, share them, post them wherever you want on, on other you know groups and social media. Gosh darn it, I thought I would trick myself into remembering the last point. Um, ah, I'm sorry, it's, I'm not remembering it. And, sorry. If, if you think about it, we can come back and do another video. We can do another video. Um, swingers, Polly, when does one become the other? If you're happy, like, are you happy? Are you playing with people for whom how you play is a good fit? Makes them happy too. Um, things are changing. Like, swinging is shifting. Um, it's just, it's more, like, there's more overlap in these circles. And... Yeah, I can't remember it. Sorry, I failed you. I failed you all. Please, please hit subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for your questions.